I'm originally from Holland, moved out here to uh, La La Land, to Los Angeles about 10 years ago. I'm a producer, arranger, songwriter, engineer, do a little bit of everything. I realized I had a love for music from a very early age. I started playing, uh, playing the recorder and the clarinet, and then by the age of 11, I uh, was so sick and tired of being able to produce only one note at a time with one type of sound that uh, I gave all that up and uh, I got my first uh, sampling keyboard and just started uh, playing and emulating whatever I heard on the radio. Too many people to name, uh, but people like Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Tom Waits, uh, um, and, and a large dose of uh, Western European classical music, which uh, was pounded in by my dad. Uh, artists that I've worked with uh, um, are people like Michael Bublé, uh, Josh Groban, uh, Andrea Bocelli, uh, Seal, uh, Mary J. Blige recently. We did something for Destiny's Child. You know, what basically got me here was arranging uh, combined with programming, so using synthesizers, samplers, uh, digital audio, any means of music technology to get the job done. Um, for the first few, first few years it's been that. Then uh, with David Foster I've had a couple of years of very heavy programming under my belt. I guess the most uh, important key person in, in bringing me to the, the States is uh, legendary guitar player Lee Rittenauer who actually is also part of Music 180. Just for fun, uh, one day I, I, I took the first song of Lee's first album, uh, just because it had this cool guitar lick on it, and uh, I sampled that, and put vocals on top, put beeps, beats, and just chopped the whole thing up. And, and then a few months later, uh, Lee came to Amsterdam to do a concert, and I figured, well, I got nothing to lose, why don't I put it on a CD with a couple of my own tracks, and. Uh, and hand it over to him at the end of the concert. So I, I did just that with a nice letter with it. I'm sorry, Mr. Rittenauer, and I hope you're not insulted by me cutting up your uh, music. He actually called me back that same night, which was amazing. I thought it was one of my friends pulling my leg. And he listened to the CD, obviously, really liked what I'd done. And uh, about a year later, he flew me out to LA, uh, which was my first time ever in the States. So it was a giant adventure for me <laughs> because I'd never been here. So flew me out with my gear. We worked for about three weeks, and then he offered me a year's exclusive contract plus a working visa. If you would have asked me 12 years ago to compile a list of the artists that I would want to work with, um, if, I, if I look at the people that I've worked with now, I can cross out about 70% of that list. I got very lucky, but they say luck is where opportunity meets preparation. If you're prepared, then now Music 180 opens up that window of opportunity further. It creates a new platform for people in different facilities and different disciplines within the music industry. And I'm talking about record, record company people, aspiring artists, uh, producers, engineers, anybody that is very serious about their music now has a platform to communicate and to engage in collaborations. One of the great features, uh, just one of the many great features on the Music 180 site um, is the, the feature called The Vault, where you can load up your music and create a lockbox and then have select people listen to that music without them being able to download it. You know, there's 10 million bands and 10 million singers out there and, you know, how are they going to get heard? And how, uh, how are they going to get the right people to hear them? Um, that's the trick of it and that's where Music 180 comes in.